What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So today we'll be doing something different. By different I mean we'll be doing an interview where I am the interviewee and I am the interviewer. Okay, so, so let me just uh, give you guys some context. So the other day, the kind people, the amazing people from Jubilee Medical College, they have this FM called Jubilee FM, JFM. Um, they were kind enough uh, to invite me to their podcast or FM radio thing. Um, like, in fact, it was, it was my first podcast. They had some amazing questions. They had some really thought provoking questions that they had asked me. But unfortunately, um, the, the podcast was in, was in Malayalam. So my intent with this video is that I wanted to share like the most important parts or the most um, the most promising parts of that of that podcast with you guys. And hopefully I feel that uh, you guys will also have some takeaways that you can uh, <laughs> that you may enjoy. Right. So that's the intent with this <laughs> with this question and answer type of uh, video. So without any further ado, let's uh, let's jump into it. So the first question that they had asked me was um, how how did this journey start? Right. How did this um, content creator <laughs> journey start for this for this person. So the thing is, I have not actually talked about like being a content creator. Uh, you know my journey of, of being a content creator here on YouTube. Uh, but fun fact, uh, <laughs> this this journey of being a, a content creator actually started on YouTube. So I would like to take this opportunity um, and and talk to you guys about it. Right. So what did it all start? I think it started right around lockdown. Right. Lockdown is when. It all started. If you remember, we had we had all the time in this world uh, to do whatever it is that you want. And you know, two people, I would say that two people had actually motivated me uh, to, to join, right, to start this venture. Specifically, Ali Abdar and uh, Anuj Pachel. These two people were going in my same path, which is a medical student, a medical, and uh, you know they were doing YouTube on the side, right. And I was like, you know, if they can do it, you know, why not? Why not me? You know, why don't I give it a try? That was the initial thought <laughs> that basically started it all. And easier said than done is, is what I have to say. Because when I started this journey, you know, I remember making my first or second video and I was like, I couldn't speak two sentences. Like, I couldn't speak three words in English. Every third word <laughs> that, I, that comes out of my mouth, I would stutter, I would lose sight of what I was about to say. I basically couldn't speak English. You know, that was how bad I was. And I remember telling myself, asking myself this question like why on earth why on earth am i putting myself through this whole over experience and i was at a point where i was literally questioning myself about why did i even sign up for this in the first place so to begin with um, i feel that i was chasing fun and glory right i i guess youtube is a, is a mixture of fun and you know glory but the reality is pure work you know it's pure hard work like venturing into stuff that i have never done um, and it was pure hard work man in the beginning it was pure work so if at all there is something that i want to share with you uh, it would be that right any idea that you have that you think is awesome is good enough to start but then when you start when you when you embark a journey uh, to achieving this idea right manifesting this idea oh boy you know it, it is not as easy as it seems i think i had like a passion for this I didn't know I had a passion for it. That's one thing. But the more I did it, I realized I was, I had like an inclination towards this. I, I found myself improving uh, quite a bit. That's what um, keep me going. So that is my lesson in the first question. Uh, that is you might start something with a lot of enthusiasm. You might have an idea. But when you embark on the journey of manifesting <laughs> this idea, um, the going gets tough, right? And you have to persevere. And you have to persevere. And as long as you have passion for it, that is the only way you can persevere. Like if you don't genuinely like the thing that you're doing, um, it gets hard, man. Like you have to have so much passion for that idea because only then can you can you go through the the trials and tribulations, right? The the, the obstacles that, that are present in the way. Right? I had a lot of hard work, man. It was a lot of hard work. It was a lot of learning, uh, all this new stuff, you know, videography, film filmmaking, videography, video editing. I was learning a lot of stuff that was completely out of my field. But, but why? Because I liked it, right? Because I found happiness in it, right? I was, I was passionate about it. So that is what keeps you going. So that is my first lesson, right? So have an idea, go for it, but realize that it will get tough, right? And embrace that toughness, right? I think you should embrace that toughness because, you know, that is a moment that, that you know for a fact that you are learning something, right? You know for a fact that you are learning something. It is during those difficult times. So nowadays, nowadays I actually embrace uh, the difficult times because I know because I know that I am learning something 
you know, when you're working a muscle and, and it, comes, it starts aching, it starts paining, it starts, it starts straining, that is when you know for a fact that your muscles are gonna go, right? Likewise, in, in life, if it gets hard, if it gets tough, uh, you know, you know for a fact that you're doing something right. Life is like a math problem. Uh, and the reason is, you know you're doing it right when, when, <laughs> when it gets tough. If it's tough, you know you're doing it right. So, yeah. So that is the first takeaway that I, that I wanted to share uh, in my journey.